Shan Shan Cruz Wong and her husband Jacob have recently bought a fourth floor, 130-year-old mansion flat in Marylebone. The area has been home to Paul McCartney, Cat Stevens and Sherlock Holmes and is one of London's most desirable postcodes. Shan Shan and Jacob paid £950,000 for the property. That's £565 a square foot for a flat in need of total refurbishment. I guess there are priorities when you buy a flat. The priority is location and the asset itself and the value of the asset. And we, we think that the space is so big, it's very versatile. We had a good idea of where we want the living room to be, where the bathrooms are and where, where the bedrooms are. And we think that once we fix that configuration, the rest will follow. She was expecting to see the chimney breast in the living room open and ready to take a fire of her choice. If you're going for a gas fireplace, so you're going to need to open up one of them flues. I thought that to was get what you were going to do, to expose that wall before and to find out if that flu is workable. You still have the problem of not knowing where the flu is. I'm not saying you cannot have it, but it's going to be quite a costly exercise to put that in because you've got to get the flu in, you've got to break out the, the wall, and I don't know where them chambers are. That may be, if I can't have a fireplace in that spot, maybe one of the biggest disappointments about this flat for me. I don't really want to touch that. I don't really want to break into there. Because yeah. if I break into there, yeah. and I think to myself, OK, I've got one brick out, and another brick falls inside the chamber, yeah. that I go all the way down yeah. into someone's flat below, and then I'm redecorating the flat. Mm -hmm. I know what, I've broken into stacks before. A brick has dropped. Yeah. Oh, no. And when a brick's dropped, yeah. with that old soot, it's just gone, yeah. and it's covered the whole room. But it's how? Full of, um, yeah. Soot. Yeah. And it's like a talcum powder, and I've had to change all the books before now. I've, I've had this experience. Yeah. To be honest with you, she wanted this like luxury look of the fire burning at Christmas and all of that. In reality, these fireplaces get put in, but they're very hardly used, to be honest with you. You might light them up once every five years. This is an important thing to me. Now I'm being very disappointed, and now I have to go and do all this hassle to try to make it happen. And so it's just really annoying to me. One compromise is to have a gel fire. These use an alcohol-based fuel, and as they don't need a flue or chimney, they can be fitted to any wall. We just want to know more about the technical and how do we install them and what are the choices available. So the, if you've got a very airy, large room, the flame may be a bit bigger. Oh. Um, it will be a little bit higher, but it's going to be a very natural living flame, so it's actually moving a lot up and down. It's not like a solid wall of flame like with some glass fires. Is it just a simple fit process? Yeah, pretty or much, to be honest. Basically, you will have a finished wall and somebody will come and will be able to just make Yes, but we don't actually supply this sort of service, okay. so we, we basically retail it. So we okay, sell the right. fireplaces and, and people will normally have their own builders or handymen they could cooperate with. So, okay. um, so you think that the fitting is in the hundreds, not that? Oh, definitely. Keeping on top of costs is key. Is it done already? The fireplace is all constructed, we're just waiting for the stone to arrive. But I thought it's going to have stone on the side as well. No, no. No? No, stone inside, Shane. The outside Some, is wood? Yeah, the outside is wood. Yeah. 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 I thought we were going to have a whole stone here and then stone in the front and on the side, the whole place stone. No, that's not what we uh, showed you on the drawing. Oh, uh, OK. I'll give you a nice drawing of it, all in colour and everything, showing you what it's going to be like. Yeah, I only saw the dimensions. I didn't know the materials, so... Bloody fireplace. The chairs has shown me that it will look very good. So it better does. Originally planned as a 20-week build, it's finally finished after a further 10 weeks and is almost £10,000 over budget. We know that everything's new, everything's done properly and everything is working and functional. We, we love this flat. I think it's incredible. Having lived out of a suitcase for the last few weeks of the build, Shan Shan and Jacob can finally settle down and entertain in their newly finished flat. I think the priests here are very, very friendly, don't you? <laughs>